<laughs> Shit. <laughs> This is how stupid I was when I went to community college is I didn't a, a friend of mine, one of my roommates went down and he he went to get his like Pell Grant money. And I just happened to be with him and I threw my name out there and damned if they didn't have a check for me. <laughs> <laughs> like I had no fucking idea. My dad filled out paperwork and didn't say, well, there'll be some financial, you know, I didn't fucking know anything. And I should have had some preparatory yeah, that was one of the easy scams to run in college is just take your grant money and keep it. Yeah. Well, and then here's well, isn't the that what thing. a grant is? Uh, yeah, but you're not you're supposed to spend <laughs> it on school. School. <laughs> That's Speaking what of it's school. For, but they just uh, give you the money so you can do whatever you want. Yeah. They and they I think they were hoping you go to the bookstore and use it for books, but I was like, no, nah, I got that worked out. <laughs> 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 that's when i really Boys, like and clarence I, I was i was you know that felt real robin hood there because i yeah, was absolutely stealing them and busting them up so that people could buy used books and it's like everybody benefited and the real scam <laughs> is the people who put them books out and the people mm-hmm. who collect oh, yeah. the money for absolutely. the co- here's the, here's something i was uh, i wanted to talk about is uh did any you guys watch the college football some of you not brett because it's not they do a thing yeah, at halftime right. of these big games where they have students, two students, uh, competing for a uh, hundred thousand dollars in scholarship money. Uh-huh. So how fuck? I mean, just the fact that college could run up to a hundred thousand, but then you, it's a Dr Pepper challenge. It's at halftime, and then they do this by pitting two students against each other to throw balls in, through a, a, a tub, Dr Pepper tub, for whatever amount of time. And the winner gets a hundred thousand, and the loser gets ten thousand. Which you know, but it's it's like where does this where does this end? That's like, some you know, idiocracy it, shit, right? I know. There. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it seems like, oh, cool. Well, this one won that, and the other is like, how would you like to be the parent of the? Yeah. Oh, you know? and a lot of times it's a guy versus a girl too, which is bullshit. But even like, just the whole idea of it, the fact that you've taken this thing, and you know, you get to decide what the value is. So you jack up the value to this astronomical proportion, and then do some Hunger Games shit. Yeah. So that the peasants can fight over one of them getting it and jumping around and being so happy. It's fucking crazy. And the other one the just runs off. The problem is that that's a solution. That yeah. shouldn't be a fucking solution for high tu- tuitions. Right. It's right. like a lottery ticket. Oh, yeah. my God. You know, Everybody buy a lottery ticket. One of you is going to get free tuition. The rest of you, nothing. But it's also done. I've seen, guy, I've seen guys versus guys but a lot of uh, times in this last round it was a a dude versus a girl and like that's bullshit i mean like you know if it was a transvestite uh, uh posing as a, you know they'd be like that's, can't do that. it was a not, trans woman <laughs> trans, <laughs> trans woman she, whatever she but, should at least be trans if she's going to compete against uh a cis gender male she should at least right, be trans you. yeah right? exactly i, don't I even think so know I'm what all that is. I'm Dr. Pepper you. can fix it. <laughs> hey, whatever you want to be, Dr. Pepper can fix it. You give that big hundred thousand dollar check, and Dr. Pepper will make you into get the him. operation. And so it always comes down to the, the dude, like a frat guy, winning. Like oh, and then the you know the girl practiced hard too. But here's the thing: it's like if you want to make it, like how about this, Dr. Pepper? How about a diaper dolly changing contest? And they have to <laughs> grab the baby out of the bucket and put a diaper on it quicker. Because I guarantee you, uh, most girls don't grow up holding and throwing a football. So they go through a training period and they get pretty good at it. But then frat guy, who's just a little bit better at it, always ends up winning. And it's like, all right, fuck you, Dr. Pepper. Just give the money to the people. Or here's something you could do. How about you put two fucking old people down there with a chance to win a heart transplant? You know, if you want to pray on the desperation. That's, that essentially is our healthcare system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got, that's a, like, here's two couples who uh, don't have enough to buy a home. Uh, come on down there. So you can just be like, a, a like, how disappointed would you be watching your kid? Do, uh, God damn it. I raised my girl. She ice skated and I shit, man. College would have been paid for, but it just, here, chuck the fucking football around with daddy. You never know when it'll... <laughs> Pay off big, 
You know, there's no you want to live in debt. By Dr. You want to Pepper. live in debt your whole life, or do you want to win a big check from Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Up until that moment was uh, uh, somebody I trusted. But. It could be like a Dr. Pepper Slumdog Millionaire, where like everything, every little contest a girl competes in, she thinks back to a time when she was a kid and her dad and her were out like, oh, this is when I learned to skip rocks with dad. <laughs> And now that part of the contest comes up and she's really fucking good at it. And she wins all the things and she wins also, tuition to Clemson. Yay. Also, also, how come they don't have fat ones up there? It's like they're <laughs> chosen randomly. I, I um, you know, I would guess most of the base of Dr. Pepper drinkers are probably the chunkier students. You know, if it was Mountain Dew, <laughs> I would say all of them. But, uh, you know, there's all these. You know, you chose at random. Why do they look like they were cast for a Dr. Pepper commercial where they're dancing around and shit? That's not that's not randomly chose. Randomly chose, you're going to get somebody that's fucking ugly. You can't have a game in Alabama and randomly choose a good looking student. I'm sorry. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> Is that your experience? Man? I went to. Yes. I walked around at Auburn College University. College kids are good looking, man. College kids at big schools are good looking because they come from good stock. Yeah, that's so true. There are a lot of good looking people in college. I would like to see a Doritos challenge with ugly kids. <laughs> uh, they just get $25,000 for drugs. It's like, <laughs> yeah. right, the Mountain Dew Code Red challenge. Yeah, so I don't know. I just kind of re resent it now. I mean, just watching the stupid, the way they do that. And then you're supposed to, like, you know, I knew, I think it was the Alabama game, and there was a, a, a one, uh, it was, I think it was two girls, this one. But one of them had, what do you call the thing, the Habib? Habib. Uh, Habib on her head. And I wanted her uh, yeah, to win. The but I know the it was a his job. Yeah. yeah. His job, that's what it is. I knew I didn't say that right. Chad got it? Thank you, Chad. <laughs> What Chad's our fuck? most PC member, <laughs> so I was rooting for her, and I, I could I could just feel uh, the tension. <laughs> it was a close matchup. I could feel the t tension of the others, uh, the people watching it, and I don't think they wanted her to win like I did in Alabama. <laughs> yeah, maybe look at, not. Look at this There's guy. There's a fat this one. Guy, He's fat. Here, here, this guy, this guy threw it like they, you see him holding they, it right there. Yeah, he threw it horizontally. And I don't know. Won. But, they always throw it awkwardly. They either chest pass it or they throw it like that. But nobody, I guess, why wouldn't you have time to just throw it like a football and then pick one out and throw it? That's how I'd do it if I could compete for college tuition with a with a student. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing is gross. Yeah, it's I mean, it, yeah, it did, it did feel like Hunger Games. Every one of these and be like, it's a crime that... Anyone has to pay anything for oh, college. Yeah. Make it, run across, make it and free college for all and run across yeah. there and pick <laughs> out, like just run out there and pick one of the balls off and keep running. <laughs> Did we see that correctly? <laughs> I'm not, I don't look, I, I, I could have done that years, a few years ago, but right now <clears throat> I'd probably be, uh, you know, no, there's a reason elderly people don't go around streaking. Yeah. Oh, well, there's a reason the they sausage? don't run onto the field during sporting events. That's yeah. Is that the sausage races? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just said another like horrible halftime thing. Like, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's the, new, that's this the, will be the uh, new tuition. Those yeah, yeah they put those the in. Walk. Those are yeah, those, those are uh, 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 crew or uh, people from the crowd too. I think. I think <clears> so. Too. Yeah, they can't. I like the really president hurt. one. They do that in <laughs> DC. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad that Shaley's blocking out the Mexican one because we'll probably get kicked off of whatever platform we're on if we have that picture it looks like up. yeah that's looks like not right at all <laughs> that looks like mexican walter white kind of look at his legs too i think they put the brown guy in that one that's his legs match yeah. The yeah everybody else got skin white might be legs. brown but that looks a lot like uh, castle rock kenny to me <laughs> built they're built <laughs> similar <laughs> any one of those guys could be castle rock kenny let's be honest yeah <laughs> but he'd have a goiter now, from what I hear. <laughs>